Uh, yeah, a terrible situ out, situation out here in Holtville. Let's show you some video from the scene. You're going to see an SUV absolutely crushed by a big rig. We're told this happened around 6.20 this morning on the 115. Where we're at, we are not far from the Mexican border. We are in southeast California. What the question is right <coughs> now is why were so many people in that SUV? According to the CHP, there were 25 people inside that SUV that got crushed by the big rig. As far as what caused the crash, they're still investigating that, but we do know the outcome. 13 people were killed in this crash. 12 of them pronounced dead at the scene, another pronounced dead at the hospital, many others taken to the hospital, still there getting taken care of. Now, the question I said, what were those folks doing in that SUV? So many of them packed in there, obviously not a legal situation as far as driving with that many people in the car. There is a kind of a dual economy where we're at. We are near Calexico and Mexicali. It's the border here. It's really considered by many who live down here one economy. You have farm workers who come in from Mexico legally early in the morning. They come up here to the farms and work. They get driven from the border to the farms and then back down to the border later in the day. You also have the issue of illegal immigration here in this area where people sneak in and sometimes get in situations like this as well. What was this situation? The CHP says they're still looking into it. So the question is, are they farm workers or immigrants? We don't know that. It's too, it's too early in the investigation to say uh, what they were doing and where they're coming from. Now, they did say that they are working with the Mexican consulate as far as IDing some of the folks for, who were killed and also some of the folks who were taken to the hospital. But as far as the situation, again, as far as what those folks were doing, so many of them in that car early this morning, they still don't know. Just a terrible situation. The investigation still playing out. For now, reporting live, I'm Chip Yost. We'll send it back to you. Shalom. Brother Kabai back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and rule well. And now, Shalom, the artists and Siyaki, and so the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, and now, Shalom, to all you sincere listeners, followers, believers, in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, Shalom to you. And um, <clears throat> it's quick, quick hit, quick hit. You know, two scriptures brought came to my mind um, when I saw this uh, news clip. You know, and um, we all just gonna get right into it, man. Knowing the terror of the Lord, cause this is the terror of the Lord right here, man. <clears throat> all right, we persuade you, okay. This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. See, we know the terror. Start right ahead, apostles, the elders of the great mill, so on down. We know the terror that the Lord can bring, man. Right? The scripture says, so there'll be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it. That's evil. That's bad times, man. That's befallen. Okay, those people. And the Lord is the one that brought it, man. <clears throat> you know, you don't want to be the next one in a car accident. You don't want to be the next one that gets hit by a bus or a train or, you know, uh, 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 you know, something to, to that effect. All right. It says we persuade men to do what? To make no tarry and to turn to the Lord. Right. It says, but we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. So hopefully what we're saying sticks to the hopeful elect. Well, it will stick to the hopeful elect because that's what we're trying to reach. But this, this is terrifying, man. That 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 truck was was smashed in. You know, being jabbed up with with uh, uh and pierced with the metal, the glass. You know, that's that's horrifying, man. You know. That's horrifying, man. So that knowing the terror of the Lord will persuade you to repent, man. You know, and seek the Heavenly Father. That's what it's about in the last days. That's what's popping. This is Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh who the word calls God and Jesus. That's the names in ancient Hebrew, man. All right? It says, and putting that off from day to day. Because Jake is real quick, right? And when we say Jake, we're talking about Jacob, right? Who was our forefather, all right? Whose name was changed to Israel. 
and who had 12 sons. All right? Reuben all the way down to Issachar. Right? Reuben. Judah. Well, Judah's the head tribe. But, uh, Reuben was the firstborn. But Judah, uh, 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 Simeon, right? Levi, Gad, Ephraim, Naphtali, uh, uh, Asher, uh, um, Issachar. Okay, just to, just to name some of the tribes. Okay. Don't put the day of the Lord off, man. This, look, these words are for you Israelites, man. For suddenly should a wrath. See, that was the wrath for the Lord that came upon that those people, man. For the wrath of the Lord come forth and thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Because that's what the Lord is bringing. That's what the Lord is bringing, man. You know, that's why we persuade you to repent and get right and turn back from your wickedness, man. Turn back from your wickedness, man. Y'all here smoking weed? Stop it. Y'all here selling drugs? Stop it, man. Y'all eating shrimp, pork, crab, lobster? Stop it. Y'all here uh, worshiping false idols and gods up here in these Christian churches, right? Calling yourselves Moors, calling yourself Catholics, right? Calling yourselves Black, Latino, Native American. Stop it, man. And just repent. The Lord said He will open you, He will receive you with open arms, man. What's that? Uh, it's one of my favorites. We brought out on how I was in Bowie's this past weekend. So, Rock 17. And 24, it says, But unto them that repent, he, he, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, granted them return and comfort those that fell in patience. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. That's right, forget about them. You know? And, and, and make thy prayer before his face and offend less. And that's, that's what it's about in these last days, offending less, man. You know? Turn away from your sins and, and, look, and, and don't piss the Lord off as much, man. Okay? Because the Lord is in wrath, man. He's in a mode of wrath and anger, man. It says, turn again to the... Look, the Lord keeps saying it. Turn again to the Most High. And turn away from your iniquity, your, your sin upon sin. And he will lead thee out of darkness, man. Because you, look, the, the more you sin, the more darkness you're in, man. Okay, it says, into the light of health. See, when you come back to this light, which is this truth, it brings you back to health, man. You know, I had a Jake ask me. He said, yo, man, what are you doing, man? You look so good nowadays, man. You know? And I can I only thing I can do is just laugh, man. I can only thing I think about was just truth. You know, this truth keeps you healthy, man. Keeps you whole. Spiritually and physically, man. It says, and hate thou abomination vehemently, man. You supposed to hate the abomination, man. You know? But that's just, you know, quick lesson through the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Judgment is going forth. You know, judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going forth. And, and look, we are persuading you to what? Repent, okay? Seek the Heavenly Father. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. And the Lord will open, it will accept you with open arms. You know, the Lord made this thing plain, man. So, Lord, will is edifying to next time I say Shalom.